Surprise! Maybe you didn't expect that coming. Or maybe you did. Think about that. We're gonna get into that. The power of moments. Hey Super Brave friends, my name is Joe Karlowski, the Super Brave teacher, on a mission to tip Google, YouTube, and the world in a radically positive and accepting way for people like me. I'm a gay teacher. Maybe people like you, gay teachers, lesbian teachers, bisexual teachers, transgender teachers, welcome, welcome. Thanks for watching this video. So yes, friends, today we're gonna talk about the power of moments. And that happens to come from a book called The Power of Moments. And it's really striking me, this whole book, because it is showing me what I do already well, which is, or I hope that I do well with students, is that I really try to make moments special. I really try to make them defining moments so that my students look back on their kindergarten year and they say, wow, I really remember this, 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 and this. I remember those valleys, those peaks, they were hot. Those valleys, those peaks, they were awesome. How do you do that? Let's talk about it. It's really simple and it goes like this. You gotta break the script with delightful surprises. Break the script with delightful surprises. So whatever the script is in your day, it could be your teaching day, it could be your anything day, you gotta break the script. You gotta do something to make it memorable, to make it defining, to make it delightful. Think of all those adjectives. Whatever adjective you want for the day, that's what you wanna do. And you gotta think of those dips in your day and you gotta think, how can I fill in those dips? So first, you, you have those dips. Do it with me, do it with me, make those hands. You got those dips. Something sucky happens in your day. You gotta fill it in, right? Because you can't just build those peaks, those awesome experiences, if you got this dip. Think about it, it doesn't work. So you gotta fill in those dips. Figure out what you gotta do to fill in those dips. You're having a sucky experience with your students? Figure that out. For most teachers, especially in their first 10 years of teaching, that's usually around management. Figure out how to have your day be successful so you don't have these management issues in your day. So just think about that. What is the dip you're gonna fill? And then, once you got a level field, how can you make those peaks? How can you make surprising things in your day? For example, I'm a big believer in rituals and traditions with my students. So they know on Monday, these are the traditions, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the rituals. For example, Friday, we always have Friday picnics. And we have Friday, we have this big like spinner and they have, we have like arm wrestling competitions every Friday. So they know those rituals and traditions are coming up. So that's filling in the boring gaps. But how do we make it fun? We make it fun by changing it up just a little bit. Okay, you're gonna arm wrestle all of the stuffed animals today. Okay, we're gonna have our picnic not on the floor. We're gonna have it sitting on top of our tables and we're gonna eat one of them, one snack at a time with our pinkies like this. Now it sounds like, okay, that's just goofy and silly, but it's goofy and silly and it's memorable. It's defining, and I guarantee you, because I get emails from families, those kids go home and they say, guess what we did today? We had a picnic sitting on our tables and we ate with our pinkies. Can we try that for dinner? And the parents are like, oh gee, what are you doing? But those are the peaks. And did I have to purchase anything to do that? No. Did I have to go out of my way to do that? No, I just had to say, what am I doing already? That's awesome. What am I gonna do to make a little peak? In the book, it talks about how there's this hotel in Los Angeles where there's a phone by the pool that you pick up and popsicles are delivered to the pool on a silver platter by people with wearing white gloves. Or you can leave your dirty clothes to be washed and they wash them, they fold them, they wrap them in parchment paper and there's like a little sprig of rosemary or something beautiful and they deliver it to you and they make it special. So they take something like, oh, we do your wash for you and then we're gonna deliver it on parchment paper, with wrapped in parchment paper with a little detail. So it's thinking, what can you do in your day? And then making it memorable. 
Because when you do, it is scientifically proven that it slows down time. Something in your brain says, oh, remember this. This is awesome. Don't forget this. Think back in your life. What are those memorable moments? It's when you did something that not only was awesome, it went outside of whatever to be special for you. I remember in grade school, we made a movie. So for writing class, for all that stuff, we got, got to write a script and we filmed a movie and we were in this movie and we had this movie screening of the movie we redesigned and it was so fun and memorable. And it makes you think any time I had these distinct memories in my brain, it was always something that I had to get dressed up for, it was super special. And because think about it, you play a sport so that you can play a game with the sport. You learn an instrument so you can perform that instrument. But in schools, all day long we're testing kids, we're practicing, we're practicing, we're practicing, we're reviewing, we're practicing, we're practicing. But we rarely, in most schools, get time to showcase what we know and be proud of our academics. You know, families, they show up for dance recitals, for sporting events, but they rarely get to see the process of kids loving what they do and showcasing what they do. So I challenge you friends, like I always do, how can you harness the power of moments? How can you not only fill in those dips, but also make those peaks in your day? That's my challenge, that's your challenge. Thanks for watching this video. You are awesome, you are enough, you are appreciated just for being you. That's all you gotta do, is be you. And Joel, just be you. Bye friends. <laughs>